Today I'm going to make uh, nut butter. So I'm going to make almond butter uh, mixed with some cashews as well. Uh, because I've received many requests uh, on Instagram and on uh, Facebook and on the website uh, on how to make it. So the recipe is on the website, um, but if you can't find it, I'll just show you here how to make it. It's so simple. Um, the reason I make my own almond butter is because um, I, I love peanut butter and uh, unfortunately I, um, it's not very good for me and I, uh, apparently I shouldn't be eating too many peanuts um, based on this, this test I did. Um, so I tested a few almond butters in the, from the store and I found that a lot of them, well first of all, the oil ends up floating on top and I always just find that so not pretty, <laughs> not really pleasant. Um, but the other thing is that you don't really control the ingredients that goes into store-bought almond butter or nut butter in general. Um, sometimes they'll, they're going to put like hydrogenated oil, which is horrible for your arteries, or they might put um, vegetable oils, which are not good either most of the time. Um, not to say that everybody does this. I know that in Dubai there are stores, apparently there's a, some Schweitrams supermarkets that actually make the nut butter in front of you. That's great, but if you don't have that, and if you have a high-speed blender, uh, definitely make your own, okay? So let me show you, it is so, so simple. I'm gonna, I've probably spent more time talking than time that it would take to make this, okay? So I start with some, um, some almonds, okay? These almonds, I've, uh, I've mixed almonds with some cashews. Put whatever, I mean, quantity you want, depends how much nut butter you want. I usually use three cups or so. Uh, to make a, a, a large jar. Um, now what I do with these is that I roast them at a low temperature, like 120 degrees, okay, um, Celsius. So the reason I roast them is because I prefer the taste of roasted nut butter. Um, but the reason I, I roast them at a low temperature is because there are like cancerous, uh, like chemicals that, that come out of almonds, especially when you heat them at a high temperature, uh, which most of the time when you're gonna buy roasted almonds, they're heated at a high temperature, okay? And those chemicals are called acrylamides, I think. So look that up and you'll see, it's really not very good for you. So I roast them at a low temperature for like 20 minutes um, and, uh, and it makes for just a, a, a tastier nut butter. I put this all in the mix. Um, I put, I'd say like three quarter almonds, uh, one quarter cashew. The reason I put some of the cashew is because a cashew adds a little bit of extra creaminess to the, to the nut butter. And also, um, it, they have a slightly sweet taste and I don't put any sugar in my, uh, my nut butter. So I really like having that extra sweetness that comes from the cashews. Okay. But by all means, like you don't need to to put in this uh, uh, these cashews. Okay, it's up to you. So I've put I, I've put a pinch of salt. Definitely put some salt. I mean, I don't. There's nothing wrong with salt. Uh, it gets such bad press, you know. But most of the time, especially if you're like a sporty, healthy person and you sweat and everything, salt is fine for you. It just you know, don't eat soy sauce every night. But Otherwise, it's fine. So I use Himalayan sea salt, okay? Now, I'm just going to turn this on. Um, and you're going to see. The texture is still crumbly. It resembles kind of like, uh, you know, like coarse meal, and it's a bit pasty, like you could get a gloop of it like that, but this is definitely not 
um, creamy it. So you need to continue. Um, it's at this point, if you've got, if you haven't got a high speed blender, um, I would say get a high speed blender because every time I've done nut butters using a normal like kind of grinder or blender, um, it always ends up burning out the motor and you're gonna smell like it's gonna have this funny smell and it's usually at this point where it gets this crumbly mixture that you start smelling the smell so definitely try to go high speed when you when you try to do this get a high speed blender so I'll do it once more and you'll see the texture will, will change <laughs> nut butter. So you're going to see that the texture at this point is pretty creamy. It's not extra crunchy, but it's pretty creamy. You see, it's like this. It's slightly crunchy. If you want it to be a little bit crunchier, what I would do is once you've, you know, blended them for 30 seconds initially, take some out. Okay. Take some of the, you know, um, uh, ground nuts out when they're still kind of coarse blend till very smooth the rest of them and then at the very end you put the crunchy bits back in and you've got extra crunchy um, almond butter but that's still smooth and easy to spread okay uh, and if you want it smoother by all means just blend it a little bit longer if you want to add sweetness add a tablespoon or two of maple syrup if you like that or coconut sugar or what whichever natural sweetener you um, you prefer so there you go it's very very easy so um, good luck with that I don't think you're gonna need much and enjoy